Now to the projectile. This is something people struggle a lot with because it's a little bit more difficult just to do a basic projectile with code that IV has previously written for us already. So um, I'm just gonna copy our attack, right? Copy and paste it. And this is gonna be our shot. We're not gonna have a hitbox because uh, while we're shooting, we don't need that. We only need to worry about that this is the shot animation, right? We're gonna go up here, check. Where is it? So it's five frames, so it's six frames. So I was gonna keep in mind which, uh, I'm gonna click up here, go shot and go up and see. Okay, on this frame, we should probably shoot. Oh, that's frame four. Or, well, frame five. So yeah, we have five frames, uh, which is six because it starts with zero. So six times two is 12, right? Six per frame. We have two on this animation specifically. We probably don't want to move as much forward. All right, and then we're gonna rename this to shot. We're gonna put the different type in here. We're probably gonna make this a special. And there we go. So this is the basic done. We should be able to see it in the game. I'm just gonna double check here. Single player ranger, hopefully. Yep, it's here. It just doesn't do anything, but it exists. What we're gonna do now is create our object. You don't really have a projectile, you just have an object and it kind of behaves like it. You can do a lot of scripting here, but we gotta use something previously done from Ivy just to make it way more easier. All right, so we're gonna search for something called directional projectile. So dear projectile, All right? And you will see this scene here. This is a very basic scene. And there's a lot of code in here that Ivy done. We don't need to worry about any of this. We're just gonna duplicate directional projectile. We're gonna call this a shot. And then we're just gonna drag this object into our folder, right? Into the ranger. All right, there's the shot. We're just gonna just make sure to double click it. I'm gonna close everything again here besides the ranger. So now we have the shot thing. So now we have to give it a look, right? So you can see on Sprite, it does have, it's basically the same setup like a normal character, just very small, like comparatively. So I'm just gonna get the, the arrow look real quick. We're gonna export this as arrow.png. Should have it somewhere here. All right, we have the arrow PNG. I'm just gonna put this in sprites, I guess. And now, uh, so we click the sprite and then we click up here in the drop down and click new sprite frames. And then we kind of have to reselect it because Godot is stupid. All right, we're gonna put the arrow here and now we have a basic look, right? So this is how, it's just have one animation default, that's all fine. So this is how we get our base look. The only thing is we need kind of a hitbox. So I'm just gonna go to the ranger and just gonna copy a hitbox up from here. It's the same kind of type, right? And then I'm just gonna adjust it to look like that. Don't make it too big, otherwise it gets a little bit too broken. Why I'm making this a square? It's because you cannot rotate hitboxes. Now we have to check for the collision box. You can see it's a little bit big like the collision box is basically to parry it. So I would adjust that too. This is 3-3, three, three, so we're just gonna do these. Like 4-4. Four, four. Right, and then in here, you kinda have to set your normal stuff up. I'm gonna make it 20 damage. No, all this is fine. Okay, start frame, I would probably, yeah, yeah, that's kinda of important. You always want it to be active, right? Start frame should be frame one. Active, I'm just gonna put this uh, also to one and always on. So this means it's always on how long this projectile is alive. You click to the this thing again, and you have to have homing enabled. If you don't have homing enabled, you need to write two lines of code to spawn it in, so it just shoots straight forward. But if you just want to have a magic missile enable homing, just put the turn speed to one, acceleration one, and then max homing speed. I don't know, maybe 10, and move speed 10. Now we have our scene basically ready for our shot. Let me go back to a ranger. 
to shot. And then we can see something called projectiles. So in here, we're just gonna drag drop our shot onto this. And now we have to tell them when it should shoot out. So we just gotta double check again. This is frame. Oh, no, this is not the correct one. Shot. So it shoots out on frame four with double ticks. That's tick eight. All right. So we're gonna go here. Projectile eight. And then the position. This is basically where it should start from. If you have a zero zero, it starts right at the bottom. You can try to figure out the position, but there's a little neat way. You can always get the position perfect first try. And that is by just right clicking here and add child node. And we're just gonna add a node 2D. This is just an empty node. So you click it here. And then you click this up here, move mode. And we're just gonna say where it should spawn from. So we can do it perfectly. As you can see, you can drag around. You see this little uh, X that's this little cross. This is where it spawns from. Okay, so I guess this would be kind of, I think the perfect, or maybe here, roughly like here. And then you open the transform up here, and then you have the coordinates. You have to put in 10 minus 21. So just gonna do that, 10 minus 21. Once you're done with that, I would just delete this thing again. And there you go. Now we know exactly where to spawn it from. This is your absolute baseline. This is the most basic projectile you can do without writing a single line of code. We should press play now and let's see if it works. There you go. Yeah, as you can see, this is the very basic projectile. It's not much you can do uh, else without coding. Everything else needs a little bit of coding, not much. Don't be intimidated by this. But yeah, as you can see, it works fine. It's just basically a slightly faster magic missile at this point. All right, there you go.